So now we tore open our kit box here for the triple install. We got our four whip hoses. These are going on the cylinders after we get our 90s nice and snug on there. Then your next two shortest are for your T fittings. And this is going to be your attract. You got dual colors come into this. So we're going to put our short T down to the bottom. And we'll take our next shortest hose and we'll put it on the side here. And then our retract hoses will get connected here. And then we got all of our rear hoses here. We got extends are our single color coated, retracts are our dual colors. And then front is the exact same. Extend, extend, retract is our dual colors. Brian here with Sea Lakes. We're uh, showing you how to do triple installs here with sheeting now that we're dealing with that. So first of all, I'm going to check uh, my pontoon here. We got a triple up on uh, about 24 inch stands or so. It's going to be your best height for putting in triples just for how awkward it can get. But I'm going to take my phone first and I'm going to check my cross members. I can see I got light shining all the way through, so I know I can run hoses all the way across if I need to. So I'll move up, and I'll see that this one is not full. So I'll take a picture. I got a tiny little space there, can maybe run hoses. Then I'll check how far that compartment goes. And this one's full. And it's open up here, so we should be all right. I know that I can uh, run everything on my boat the way that I would like to. I'm going to start measuring out distances for holes that we're going to cut in the sheeting to mount our legs. So we got a total distance of 94 inches for one of our triples. Whenever we mount, we like to keep our rear pivot bolt within six inches of a cross member. So it can't be any further past that, otherwise you're going to get bowing in your boat. It'll be bad. And then we're gonna come up here, we're gonna look my cylinder clearance for my hoses. We mark about five inches. You could do six, you could do seven, whatever suits you. We go from 40 to 45, and this is where we're gonna cut our hole in our sheeting so we can run our hoses down along. red caps from the cylinders and inserting the uh, 90 degree with our o-ring uh, hose connectors straight into our cylinder and we're going to screw them in there hand tight and then we'll get a wrench on it then we're going to take our whip hoses connect them to the top of our cylinder at that 90 just going to screw them in there. We'll get a wrench on that too. Right now we're just marking out our distances for our legs and our fittings. We got uh, 40 inches from the front, very front of our leg to the front of the fitting hole and then 45 inches to the rear. So we'll cut a small hole right in the sheeting there. And then we're going to mark a mark at the very back, 94 inches from the front. That's the very rear of our leg. We're just going to make a mark to know that we're hitting a cross member and we're not more than six inches past. So right now he's just marking our outside line for our legs. We want to make sure that we're not going to rub on that pontoon. So he's just getting our very widest spot that we can mount because we like to mount wide instead of narrow, give us a better base. So right now he is showing me our lines for our fittings, that 40 inch and 45. He's giving me about where he would like his hole. And now I'm going to look from the side here and tell him if he's clear of wires, if he's got anything there that he needs to worry about. And he's going to take his three and a half inch hole saw after I give him the all clear and he's going to cut two holes where I gave him those measurements 40 and 45. 
All right, so we bored our holes in the sheeting with our three and a half inch hole saw there. Now we're gonna grind down our edges, connect our holes, and then we're gonna file them down a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a quarter inch uh, vacuum tubing around my hole there, just so that uh, I don't cut any hoses or anything uh, after we get her up there. Alright, so I'm up top of the boat now, uh, trying to figure out a good pump location. Usually I try to keep uh, closer to the battery if I can. The battery is mounted back in here, and it's pretty well taken up. So I'm going to look at my next compartments up. I would rather not take up a whole big one. So I'm going to go right behind the seat here. And when I drill my hole, I like to keep to the outside of the boat, so it's going to be along this edge over in here. We're cutting our hole up top for a pump. I like to keep it as far to the outside of the pontoon as I possibly can just because we're running our hoses along the outside instead of the inside now obviously. I punch a small hole with my eighth bit and then I'll follow up with the three maybe two and a half inch little hole saw and uh, pop her down there. I'll have somebody on the outside with my guide just telling me that yeah you're not gonna hit a cross member or yeah you're close and then I'll drill through. All right, so we drilled our hole in the side there. I've got my hoses ran up through there, running along the side of the boat. Uh, first thing I do in the compartment, I always mount my remote, my transmitter. I'll mount that in, in case I can't fit a drill or impact in there with the pump in the way. So I'll get that in, place where I want it. Next, I'll set the pump in, get my battery cables hooked up here. And then I'll move on to my hoses. I got my extends, my four extends, and then my two retracts. My extends are all single, single color coded. Green, blue, yellow, red. Retracts are your double colors. Green and blue, red and yellow. Fairly simple. We're all set up here, got everything connected. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do before I run down and start putting up legs, I'm gonna test my remote and my pump, make sure everything works. So I'll test my toggles here first. I got noise, everything's great. That's what we wanna see. All right, so I got my holes cut in the bottom of the boat. I know where I'm about trying to get my hoses here. So we're trying to get our driver's side hoses over to the other side with the sheeting up here. I got my fish tape and I ran that all the way through the pontoon. I got a little zip tie set up here. I'm gonna put my driver front extend, zip that right in there. And then I'll cut off my zip tie and he'll pull that all the way through. And then we'll be able to run it up by hand once we got it on the other side. All right, so I got my green and my yellow hoses ran across my driver's side since I mounted the pump on the passenger. Now we are looking at our crossover uh, hoses here. They're gonna be our retracts. So we're gonna hook in yellow, red to this side. This will run down, hit that cylinder. This will run across the boat and go down, hit the other cylinder on the bottom. Now with the front, it's a little different because we have an enclosed ski compartment. So we have to make a lo much longer T and we gotta make our split a little different. So I'm starting it a little earlier. We're still gonna connect green blue here. This is gonna run down to my bottom part of my cylinder. And this will run across the boat down to the other one. 
All right, so I got my other guy underneath the boat here. He's gonna be holding his hand up through the hole, trying to catch my hose here, and then we'll run our crossover along. He'll grab that one too, and I'll pull him down into those holes. We'll leave him hanging down about a foot, foot and a half. And you can just leave them hanging there because when we throw our legs up, we'll just kind of shove them down there and deal with them later. All right, so I got my crossover in my holes. I got my longer hose coming down that hole already. Now it's time for the connection. I got my red yellow that is going to my T. Now when I'm installing I'm always gonna want my shorter hose to go down the leg so it's always gonna want to run back towards you and then when you're connecting the T fitting it's always best to keep it up in this hole and connect your hoses up in here because if you try to do it down here you'll get all connected but then you won't be able to push it back up in there so we'll always connect right here, and then we'll wrench her down. Oh, I didn't grab the tape. Some blue Loctite. All right, so we got our leg up, or most of this frame up here anyway, at least the uh, corners of it. And uh, we cut our zip tied and let the foot pad drop here. Our hoses were loose, we connected them. Our single colored hose is going to run to our whip coming down off of the top of the cylinder. And then your T fitting, which we connected to our dual colors, will run to the bottom of the cylinder. That is your retract. All right, so we got our four legs up and mounted, hoses connected, tightened down with wrenches. It's the bleeding time. I'm going to add oil into my pump, uh, retracting the legs until I get them all the way retracted up to the boat. It's gonna take about two gallons, maybe a little more. And then I will extend all four legs, do boat up until my boat is barely off my two foot stands front and back just a little clear and then I'll set it all the way back down, retract those legs all the way back. You'll get a little air kickback, keep filling your reservoir kind of as you're watching it and then I will go all the way up from full down and uh, you'll hit a spot and your motor will start to labor, it'll whine really high, high pitch noise, that's when you know you hit an air pocket. You just do front down, retract on the front and it'll suck those air bubbles right out of there. You'll hear them go, and then you continue to go full bleed up until the boat is fully bled.
Thank you. 